Peace, family. This video is for Sagittarius. My fire starters. This is for Sagittarius in the month of December of 2019. This is your love reading, Sagittarius. Spirit, what messages do you have for my Sagittarius? For my family, Sagittarius family. Stay in the building. I didn't forget y'all. Don't act like that. Don't act like that. I did not forget y'all. Mm. I'm taking those. Let's see. Sagittarius, do y'all just have a breakup makeup <laughs> situation? Spirit, where is this love going? this relationship going? So where is this relationship going? Sagittarius, my fire starts. So again, a few cards, a whole book fell out, but I'm going to take the card at the top. Forgiving and learning, getting to know each other, let go of control issues, fog in. If you guys just had a disagreement of fallouts, if this relationship is new, Spirit wants you to take your time with this relationship. Spirit wants you to forgive yourself and forgive that other person. If you or them have control issues on this relationship that you're not speaking on, speak on with you, speak not to the other person, but with yourself, with Spirit. What control issues? It's hindering this relationship that you need to let go of. And if there is a strong chemistry or bond, you definitely need to spend more long time getting to know each other. Welcome to Tarot Land. Pick you a good reader and stick with them. If my readings resonate with you, please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. <clears throat> Spirit, what self-love do my Sagittarius need for December 2019? Sagittarius, why I keep getting a book for y'all? I'm going to put the card on top. Journey. Some of you Sagittarius are ascending spiritually, mentally, and it may have you feeling stuck like, what's my purpose? What's my goal for this relationship? What am I doing to better myself? 
I'm getting that any messages that you're getting right now, it is for you to ascend. It's for you to step out on faith. It's for you to progress in your journey. Sagittarius, um, the, I'm getting a very spiritual, angelic, ancestral um, message with this, the journey card. So I'm going to go ahead and read out the book for you for the journey. And that, that deck that I'm using, the journey card, is from the Mystical Shaman Oracle. I call it my birthday deck. It was published on my birthday, and I saw it. I think I got them for my birthday, actually. I love these cards. Somebody must want to know my birthday. <laughs> Why y'all need to know my birthday now? Okay, the journey. This is the medicine. The journey is calling you, but the timing is premature. Collecting postcards or fantasies of where you want to go may take over your focus and make you miss your destiny. Other things must be completed first, or you may still be attached to knowing the destination. Remember that the point of the journey is not the destination. It's who you will become as you are transformed along the way. Do not confuse the inner and the outer journey. Then I say this is a very spiritual card. That's my ascension card now. When I see the journey, it means ascension. You're definitely awakening to some spiritual senses. You definitely are being guided by your ancestors, by your angels on your path. So don't confuse if anything is seem um, tur how can I say? turbulent in your life right now. You're ascending. So it, it's going to feel like it's rocking and shaking and rolling. You don't know where to go, how to go about things. Some things falling apart, coming back together. People are entering and leaving out of your life. Don't feel like something is wrong. You're getting ready to awaken and to ascend. Sagittarius, you, you're moving on a higher level spiritually. So with this relationship, let go of the control. Get to know them. Forgive and learn. But we're going to go ahead and pull the cards on them for more clarification. Yeah, I know I'm going to go ahead and ride with my Miss Cleo deck, of course. I've been rocking with this deck for these readings. Messages come through real good for me. So let's see. <clears throat> Spirit, why is getting to know each other here? Clarify getting to know each other. liar someone wants the truth out of the sister out of a situation you don't know how well you can trust this other person I'm getting if you if you call somebody a liar <laughs> you gotta know them real well because if not The three of styles. Waiting for your shifts to come in with this other person. You're waiting for the truth to come in. That's what I'm getting. It ain't a physical place or thing. You want forward movement, but you want the truth before you make any move towards this person. Yeah, before you can make any offers of love and emotional fulfillment, any type of purpose, love, you want the truth. You want to know that this person is really for you. Spirit, why is forgiving and learning here? Yeah.
you're longing for this other person, this person makes you feel content. This person makes you feel happy. So any disagreements is like y'all Sagittarius, any uh fire signs, y'all don't hold grudges long. Whoever y'all dealing with, whether they're another fire sign or water sign, they they can hold a damn grudge. But y'all fire uh fire starters, we don't we'll start some shit now. We'll get it popping and cracking, but uh, we ain't gonna hold it up long. Like we're done. The next day we like, hey, can we talk? <laughs> I know I was wrong. Maybe you was wrong, but we don't hold grudges. And Sagittarius, I know y'all don't hold grudges either. And I get that spiritually you're longing for this person. Yeah, you are there were very petty with your words and any disagreement. Or maybe even short tempered with them. You or them, take it as it resonates. Spirit, why is the Knight of Swords here? You definitely had a tower moment. Like I said, you were either petty or short with them or them with you. And it caused some, some um, disagreements. Now, the Three of Cups did fall out in the reverse. So, if you were in a third-party situation, you are them. Vice versa. That's definitely out of the question. That definitely had to get cut out. <laughs> that came up in reverse. Like, no longer the tower. Whatever um, troops did come out. There was an immediate, this ain't going to work, either me or them. And that, that other person had to go. Let go of control issues. Spirit, why is let go of control issues here? So I just tell you over there, like, I'm um, focusing on getting this money, getting our life together. You worrying about, I'm hearing petty, <laughs> petty shit. But it's like, if you want my love, you want this family, hey, you got to let go of the mother hoes. <laughs> I'm sorry, spirit, but <laughs> that's how I'm seeing it. And the angels whispering like, yeah, you got to let go of them hoes. We got a family. You got a family to provide and take care of. Cause I'm, I'm put a card across. I see the woman with her love and her child, and the man is over there with the with the bills and the receipts in his hand, and the angels looking like, yeah, I don't know what he think he got going on, but he got this family to provide for. So you're definitely. Considering financial stability, spirit, why is that go control issues here? Spirit, why is that go control issues here? I need one for let go and control issues. Here you go, Sagittarius. <laughs> All the energy, baby. Let's clear the air. <laughs> I 
So let's clear the air, the fog. Let's just clear it out. December 29, good prana. Just clear it on out. For all my signs, get y'all some sage for the month of December. Don't be afraid to sage. Don't be afraid to smudge. Get you some sage. Spirit, why is the Empress card here? I'm getting that you're focused on you or your other person focused on providing emotional fulfillment, providing financial financial stability because the empress has it all the empress is sitting pretty so that's the energy that you want with letting go of these control issues why is the empress here what did i say <laughs> it's the, the cards don't lie people do You or the other person, Sagittarius, feel betrayed. There was definitely a terror moment with whatever this third person, third party, whoever him, shim, them was, had to get cut out. Cut out. They were cut out with this terror moment, but this person, your love, you or them, is heartbroken and feel betrayed. I knew I had to clear the air out. <laughs> Either way, Sagittarius, you are ascending spiritually. You are on your journey. You are on your mission. Clear it out. Let it out. Let go of the control issues. Go slow. Take some time. Peace, family. If this video resonates with you, please do not forget to like, share, subscribe. Definitely subscribe. Definitely leave a comment below. Let me know how you feel. Peace.